Hymns are religious songs and can be found in many religions across the world. In the Christian religion, hymns are used to praise God, instruct, and form a communal identity. Early American Christian hymns were sung in various forms. Choirs were formed, showcasing talented singers. There were also hymnals available, wherein sometimes the music was printed, and other times lyrics only, and a singing leader told the congregation which tune to sing the words to. Songs were sometimes sung in a call-and-response form, where one person sang a line, and it was echoed back by the congregation. William Billings, the first American composer of psalms and hymns, published the New England Psalm Singer in 1770. His songs were more upbeat than older traditional hymns of Europe, and in keeping with tune names, are often named after random places. Many different song lyrics were sung to his tunes, as texts with the same meter could be interchanged with tunes matching that meter. In the early 1800s, there was a religious revival movement spreading around the United States, inspired by the Methodists. Many different sects of Christianity competed for followers. At their camp meetings, often held open air in a field, there was exuberant preaching and music to entice people to join their church. This was important not only from a salvation perspective, but because the United States government, unlike those in Europe, did not pay salaries for clergymen, and so they were constantly seeking new members to support them financially. The enthusiastic music of the camp meetings appealed to the common man and included aspects popular in folk music, such as a catchy rhythm and repetitive phrases that could easily be learned. It incorporated elements from a mixture of cultures, including African American, Irish, and Scottish, and gave rise to African American spirituals and gospel music. Iris Sankey and Dwight Moody became some of the most well-known gospel singers and composers in the late 1800s. Inspired by the revival movement, there was an explosion of Welsh hymnal writing, leading to four parts sung by the congregation with soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. These parts were based on harmonies and chords, mostly 1, 4, and 5, rooted in classical music. In 1849, Welshman John Perry started what became known as the Tabernacle Choir in Utah. Hymns are sometimes differentiated in two ways from gospel songs. Either by age, more modern songs are considered gospel, while older traditional songs are considered hymns. Or by form, gospel songs include refrains, choruses, and often have a faster tempo. Most often, the term hymn means a song to worship God.